Okay, now, let's say I've, I've read and digested the MSDS sheets, I've read and digested the SIS data sheet, I know what the seal is, it's the right one, I have all the correct personal protective um, uh, equipment I need. Um, even if you don't think you need any PPE, I always use uh, latex gloves. Uh, one of the reasons I like to use latex gloves is they're a lot easier to clean than your hands. If you get a lot of debris, especially carbon dust or, or bearing grease or something like that on a latex glove, just a little squirt of alcohol, uh, rub it and your gloves are clean. That's much easier than cleaning your hands. And if they get really dirty, you can just take these off, uh, throw them away, uh, put on some new ones and you're good to go. Uh, I always wear, um, I always wear uh, um, uh, eye protection and that's because uh, we're dealing with seals, they have springs in them. Um, a spring could come flying out and hit you in the eye. Um, things might splash. Uh, workers near you might might be working on something if it's a grindy. I mean, I'm in the service center, so I'm going to be wearing um, uh, eye protection all the time anyway. Uh, the other thing I like to do um, before I start digging into the seal, and I ask that you do the same thing before you start getting dirty, and that is get a drawing of the seal. I don't care if if you know this seal inside and out, it's always a good practice to have the drawing in front of you. That's something that you're going to want to do, especially if you're in front of a customer. You want to show them that we have best practices and you don't do a seal failure analysis or even an inspection without looking at a drawing. And I'm going to do some things with the drawing a little bit later on. You'll see its relevance even more. Uh, since I am in the service center, sometimes what I'll do is I'll even print out detailed drawings uh, if I want to take more careful notes or even inspect a part. Um, in this case, I have a single Cartex. So I went ahead and printed the drawing of the uh, machine flange and also the sleeve because those have some fits that, uh, we, that we're, you're probably going to want to measure. And I usually just keep those, staple those together, keep them in a packet, and I usually lay that out right in front of me. That's important when we start tagging parts.